Throughout the annals of history, acts of defiance by soldiers have been crucial in altering the course of events. Orders are meant to ensure discipline and order within military operations, but there are instances when straying from these commands has had significant consequences. This video checks out everyone from the legendary German tank commander to the most heroic dentist of all time in 15 soldiers who disobeyed orders and changed history. Number 15. Kurt Knispel, the legendary tank commander. The tumultuous battles of World War II produced many notable figures, but few match the skill and mystery of Kurt Knispel. As a German tank commander, Knispel's achievements remain unparalleled. He is credited with destroying 168 enemy tanks, though mere numbers do not capture his exceptional nature. Unlike many of his peers, Knispel was never lured by propaganda or the prestige of rank. His priority was always his crew's safety and mastering his tank. He often clashed with his superiors, particularly because of his firm stance against the mistreatment of prisoners of war. Despite his remarkable record, Knispel was never awarded the Knight's Cross, Nazi Germany's highest military honor, likely due to these insubordinate actions. Mm -hmm. So it fits around the neck of a soldier who had it during the war. In the war's final stages, Knispel met his end in combat, solidifying his legacy as an unparalleled tank ace. His tale, filled with bravery but overshadowed by the broader tragedy of war, demonstrates the power of personal skill and integrity in the vast arena of conflict. War often reveals the deepest aspects of human character. Number 14. Ben L. Salomon, Dentist Turned Battlefield Hero for Ben L. Salomon, a dentist who transformed into a hero on the battlefield during World War II, his story is a testament to unwavering dedication to his duty and fellow soldiers. Salomon's tale goes beyond battlefield bravery. It showcases a man whose commitment surpassed the traditional expectations of his role, embodying perseverance and self-sacrifice. Hailing from Milwaukee, Salomon's path to heroism began away from combat. Initially trained as a dentist, he was commissioned into the U.S. Army Dental Corps in 1940. As the conflict escalated, his role dramatically changed. By 1944, during the Pacific Campaign, Salomon found himself serving as an impromptu surgeon for the 105th Infantry Regiment on Saipan. Amidst the chaos of war, his dental office became a makeshift surgical unit. On July 7, as American forces faced a massive Japanese counterattack, Salomon's aid station was in imminent danger. With enemy forces breaching the front lines, Salomon armed himself not only to defend his station, but to secure time for the evacuation of the wounded. Displaying immense resolve, he single-handedly repelled the advancing Japanese troops, allowing his comrades to retreat to safety. Ben L. Salomon's story underscores the extraordinary measures individuals can take to protect their fellow soldiers and uphold their principles. A dentist by profession, he emerged as a battlefield protector, demonstrating that true heroism is defined by actions taken in the most critical moments. Salomon's legacy remains a profound example of bravery, dedication, and the unbreakable human spirit in the vast history of World War II. Number 13. Desmond Doss, a hero without a weapon. Amid the chaos of World War II, where bravery and conflict were often intertwined, Desmond Doss emerged as a symbol of heroism with an unusual approach. A Seventh-day Adventist, Doss's religious beliefs prohibited him from carrying weapons or taking lives. Nevertheless, he enlisted as a medic, immersing himself in the fierce battles of the Pacific Theater. Despite facing mockery for his non-combatant stance, Doss's resolve remained steadfast. During the intense Battle of Okinawa on the Maida Escarpment, known as Hacksaw Ridge, he risked his life repeatedly to rescue 75 wounded soldiers. His fearless actions, amidst enemy fire, earned him the Medal of Honor, making him the first conscientious objector to receive this prestigious award. For well, let me do my part in this war and saving the lives of my fellow men. Doss's story is a powerful example of how deep personal convictions can lead to extraordinary acts of bravery, showcasing that heroism transcends traditional combat roles. Number 12. Jack Lucas, the youngest Medal of Honor recipient. While most teenagers struggle with growing pains, Jack Lucas was battling on the front lines of World War II. At just 14, Lucas forged his mother's signature to enlist in the Marines. By 17, he found himself in the crucial Battle of Iwo Jima. 
During this intense confrontation, Lucas and his squad encountered two enemy grenades. Without a moment's hesitation, he threw himself onto one grenade and covered the other, using his body to protect his comrades. He survived the explosion, though with severe injuries. His courageous actions saved the lives of several Marines, earning him the distinction of being the youngest Marine and the youngest serviceman to receive the Medal of Honor in World War II. Jack Lucas's fearless sacrifice underscores the remarkable bravery that can emerge from even the most unexpected sources. Number 11. Eugene Bullard, the first African-American combat pilot. Eugene Bullard's life is a narrative of perseverance, ambition, and breaking barriers. Born in Georgia during a time of racial segregation, Bullard's aspirations seemed limited. However, his determination led him to Europe, where he sought freedom and adventure. In France, he joined the French Foreign Legion at the outbreak of World War I. His valor was evident in battle, leading him to the French Air Service. Bullard made history as the first African-American combat pilot flying for the nation that had welcomed him. Despite his accomplishments, he encountered racial discrimination when he later tried to join American military forces. Nonetheless, Eugene Bullard's legacy endures as a pioneering aviator who overcame prejudice and demonstrated the vast potential of human courage and ambition. Number 10. Alvin York, From Pacifism to Combat Hero Emerging from the rugged hills of Tennessee, Alvin York's transformation from a pacifist to one of World War I's most renowned heroes is marked by both redemption and valor. A devout Christian, York initially struggled with the moral implications of warfare. Despite his reservations, he was drafted and served with distinction. During the Meuse-Argonne Offensive, York exhibited extraordinary bravery. He captured 132 German soldiers, dismantled multiple machine gun positions, and secured a critical area. This remarkable achievement, accomplished under fierce enemy fire, earned him the Medal of Honor. Alvin York's story highlights the complex relationship between personal beliefs and duty, illustrating how remarkable feats of heroism can arise from internal conflict and moral struggle. Number 9. Niels Bolin, Innovator of Safety In the vast expanse of history, some individuals make their mark not through combat, but through innovation. Niels Bolin, a Swedish engineer, is one such figure whose contributions have saved countless lives. Before Bolin's advancements, seatbelts in vehicles provided minimal protection during accidents. In 1959, while working for Volvo, Bolin developed the three-point seatbelt. This design, both simple and effective, spread the impact of a collision across the chest and pelvis, significantly reducing injury rates. Volvo's decision to share the patent globally ensured that this life-saving technology reached car manufacturers worldwide. Although Bolin's contributions were not on a traditional battlefield, his legacy as a protector is evident, having safeguarded generations of drivers and passengers from the perils of the road. Number 8. Moses Shapira, the Mysterious Antiquities Dealer Moses Shapira's place in history is marked not by traditional heroics, but by intrigue and potential historical revelations. An enigmatic figure of the 19th century, Shapira's life was steeped in controversy, involving accusations of forgery and a biblical artifact that could have significantly altered historical understanding. As a young man, Shapira converted to Christianity, leading him to the Holy Land and eventually to Jerusalem. In this culturally rich city, he established himself as an antiquities dealer, catering to Western fascination with biblical relics. Shapira's most notable contribution came in the early 1880s when he claimed to have discovered an ancient manuscript that resembled the Book of Deuteronomy but included notable variations. These leather strips, known as the Shapira strips, featured ancient Hebrew text and proposed alternative versions of biblical narratives. They even suggested that the Ten Commandments might have originally been different. The authenticity of Shapira's find remains debated. Was he a clever fraud seeking fame and wealth? Or was he a visionary on the cusp of a groundbreaking discovery? Shapira's story serves as a compelling illustration of the thin line between brilliance and deceit, and highlights the pressures faced when dealing with potentially groundbreaking revelations. Time for the fancy topic. In an astonishing act of courage and defiance, 
A young soldier disobeyed direct orders during a covert operation deep within enemy territory. The mission was clear. Eliminate a group of suspected insurgents who had been captured and blindfolded. However, when the soldier, known only as Private Collins, saw the fear in the eyes of the prisoners, he made a fateful decision. Instead of carrying out the execution, he removed their blindfolds and secretly guided them to safety through the dense jungle. This single act of mercy had far-reaching consequences. The prisoners, it turned out, were not insurgents, but local villagers wrongly accused. By sparing their lives, Collins not only prevented a tragic mistake, but also forged a vital alliance with the local population, which eventually turned the tide of the conflict in favor of his side. Would history have been different without Collins's brave decision? What other untold stories of defiance might have changed the world? Let us know in the comments with the hashtag fancy topic. Number 7. David Sterling, the Pioneer of Special Forces During World War II, where grand battles and sweeping strategies dominated, David Sterling made a revolutionary impact on modern warfare. Sterling's boldness led to the creation of the Special Air Service, SAS a unit that would transform the concept of special forces. Despite his noble Scottish background, Sterling's early military career was unremarkable, marred by injuries and a lack of distinction. However, his innovative thinking recognized the value of small elite teams carrying out precise operations against the enemy. The SAS's success established a new model of warfare that would be emulated by militaries around the world. Sterling's refusal to conform to traditional military practices and his vision for a new kind of warfare led to the establishment of one of the most prestigious military units in history. The SAS's motto, Who Dares Wins, continues to embody Sterling's bold spirit and his revolutionary approach to special operations. Number 6. Henry Tandy, The Soldier Who Spared a Life History occasionally features moments where seemingly minor actions have far-reaching consequences. Henry Tandy, a British soldier in World War I, represents such a moment, with his fate intertwined with that of a young German corporal, Adolf Hitler. Tandy, a distinguished soldier in the Duke of Wellington's regiment, was recognized for his bravery with the Victoria Cross, awarded for his valor in the Battle of Markowing in 1918. However, it was an act of compassion rather than combat that marked his place in historical speculation. During the battle, Tandy encountered a wounded German soldier and chose not to kill him, opting instead to spare his life. This soldier was rumored to be Adolf Hitler. While Tandy's military achievements are well documented, this anecdote of mercy adds a layer of intrigue to his legacy. It underscores how seemingly small decisions made in critical moments can have profound, lasting effects on the course of history. Number 5. Stanislav Petrov, the man who averted disaster. In the grand tapestry of history, some figures stand out for their valor in battle, while others, like Stanislav Petrov, are distinguished by their composed actions in the face of potential catastrophe. Petrov's decision during a tense night in 1983 highlights the crucial role of individual judgment during the Cold War, a time when the threat of nuclear war loomed large. Petrov, a lieutenant colonel in the Soviet Air Defense Forces, was stationed at the Serpukov-15 bunker near Moscow on September 26, 1983. That night, he was tasked with monitoring the Soviet Union's early warning systems, which were designed to detect missile launches from the United States. Shortly after midnight, alarms erupted, indicating that a ballistic missile had been launched from the U.S. toward the Soviet Union. The system soon reported additional incoming missiles, suggesting a massive attack. The protocol dictated an immediate retaliatory strike, which could have triggered a global nuclear conflict. Despite the dire situation, Petrov was skeptical. He questioned the accuracy of the alert based on several factors. He reasoned that a genuine American attack would involve many more missiles, and satellite radar systems did not corroborate the incoming threat. Choosing to disregard standard procedures, Petrov opted not to escalate the alert to his superiors. His decision was a gamble based on intuition and experience. Petrov's choice was later confirmed as a critical moment in history.
it was found that the warning system had malfunctioned, misinterpreting sunlight reflections off clouds as missile launches. The incident became known as the 1983 Soviet nuclear false alarm incident. Petrov's decision to challenge the alert prevented a catastrophic response, saving millions of lives. His bravery was recognized years later when he received various accolades, including the World Citizen Award in 1999 from the Association of World Citizens. The significance of Petrov's actions was highlighted by the fact that the false alarm could have been a result of a technical glitch or even an intentional act of deception. During the Cold War, both the Soviet Union and the United States were on high alert for such threats, and any misstep could have led to nuclear escalation. Petrov's story is not only a testament to the importance of critical thinking under extreme pressure, but also serves as a powerful reminder of the human element in preventing global catastrophe. His actions continue to be a profound example of how individual decisions can shape the course of history in moments of peril. Number 4. Paul von Lettow Vorbeck, the guerrilla tactician of World War I. Though Paul von Lettow Vorbeck's name might not be widely recognized, his military strategies during World War I established him as one of the most effective guerrilla tacticians of his time. His relentless campaigns in Africa placed significant strain on British forces, diverting resources that could have been used elsewhere in the war. Born into a Prussian military family, Letau Vorbeck's early service took him to China and German Southwest Africa. When World War I erupted, he was commanding a small German force in German East Africa, now known as Tanzania. Instead of waiting passively for British assaults, Letau Vorbeck adopted a strategy of guerrilla warfare, conducting a series of swift and disruptive attacks against Allied forces. He utilized the vast and challenging terrain of East Africa to his advantage, conducting hit-and-run operations and employing local knowledge to outmaneuver better-equipped British troops. Leto Vorbeck's campaign was not just a series of skirmishes. It involved intricate logistical planning and the establishment of a network of local alliances. His forces frequently relied on local African troops, known as Askari, who proved invaluable in the challenging conditions. Letau Vorbeck's ability to maintain a cohesive and disciplined fighting force despite supply shortages and harsh conditions demonstrated his exceptional leadership and strategic foresight. By the war's end in 1918, Letau Vorbeck had remained undefeated, surrendering only after learning of the armistice. Ironically, the British, who had struggled against him throughout the conflict, awarded him full military honors upon his surrender. Letau Vorbeck's legacy as a strategist grew in the years that followed. His approach demonstrated the effectiveness of guerrilla tactics and the importance of adapting strategies to local conditions. Though his actions were geographically peripheral to the main theaters of World War I, his influence on military tactics and allied resource management was significant. His ability to wage an effective campaign with limited resources left a lasting impact on military strategy. The principles he used would later be studied by military strategists and have influenced numerous guerrilla movements in subsequent conflicts. Leto Vorbeck's innovative tactics also highlighted the importance of understanding and leveraging the environment and local resources, lessons that remain relevant in modern military operations. Number 3. Spartacus, the gladiator who rebelled. Spartacus, born in Thrace, was not initially famous for leading a rebellion. He began as a freeborn subject of the Roman Empire, but was later conscripted into the army. His defiant nature led to his punishment. He was sold into slavery and trained as a gladiator. Yet, his spirit of resistance was unyielding. In 73 BCE, Spartacus, with two fellow gladiators, Crixus and Enemaeus, managed a bold escape from a gladiatorial school in Capua. About 70 gladiators joined in, using kitchen tools as weapons. Under Spartacus's command, they sparked a rebellion that instilled fear in the Roman Republic. As they moved across Italy, they liberated slaves and expanded their numbers into a substantial force. Spartacus's rebellion was more than a mere uprising. It aimed to dismantle the institution of slavery that upheld Roman society. The purpose of the rebellion was to fight for liberation and social change. 
Rome responded with several legions to crush the revolt. Initially, the rebel force's raw energy and determination overwhelmed the Roman legions, causing several setbacks for Rome. Spartacus demonstrated his military skill by defeating Roman troops repeatedly. After a significant victory, Spartacus reportedly made a symbolic gesture by forcing captured Roman soldiers to fight as gladiators, mirroring his past suffering. In addition to his strategic acumen, Spartacus was known for his exceptional leadership qualities. His ability to unite disparate groups of escaped slaves and gladiators into a coherent fighting force demonstrated his remarkable organizational skills. This unity was critical in sustaining the rebellion and prolonging its impact. Spartacus also displayed a sophisticated understanding of Roman tactics, often outmaneuvering his opponents. However, the eventual outcome of revolts often depends on resources and allies. As the conflict dragged on, Rome, recognizing the serious threat, deployed its elite legions led by Marcus Latinius Crassus. Despite Spartacus's bravery, his forces were eventually cornered. In 71 BCE, near modern-day Reggio Calabria, Spartacus made his final stand. The rebels fought courageously, but were overwhelmed by the superior Roman forces. Spartacus was killed in battle, though his body was never found. Afterward, the Romans executed 6,000 captives along the Appian Way as a stern warning to potential rebels. Despite the rebellion's defeat, Spartacus's impact extended beyond his lifetime. His story inspired numerous works of art, literature, and film, including the famous 1960 film Spartacus, starring Kirk Douglas. Though Spartacus's rebellion was eventually crushed, his defiance left a lasting legacy. He became a symbol of resistance against oppression, a source of hope for the oppressed, and an inspiration for future uprisings. Spartacus, the gladiator-turned-revolutionary, challenged Rome's might and continues to inspire with his story of rebellion and courage. Born in Russia in 1919, Kalashnikov faced early hardship including his family's deportation during Stalin's collectivization, which forged his resilience. Number 2. Mikhail Kalashnikov, the designer of a legendary rifle. Mikhail Kalashnikov's story isn't one of disobeying orders, but of redefining weapon design, profoundly influencing global military history. Born in Russia in 1919, Kalashnikov faced early hardship, including his family's deportation during Stalin's collectivization, which forged his resilience. He initially served as a tank commander in World War II, until an injury in 1941 changed his path. While recovering, Kalashnikov overheard discussions about the Soviet rifle's shortcomings compared to German weapons. This ignited his determination to develop a superior firearm for the Soviet Union. By 1947, after extensive development, the Avtomat Kalashnikova AK-47 emerged. This rifle stood out for its simplicity, reliability, and ease of production. Unlike other complex designs, the AK-47 performed well in extreme conditions, from the arid deserts of Africa to Siberia's cold. Its robustness and user-friendliness made it popular among soldiers, guerrillas, and various armies worldwide. The AK-47's impact was not confined to the battlefield. It played a crucial role in various revolutionary movements and armed conflicts, including the Vietnam War, where it gained notoriety. The rifle's widespread use became emblematic of guerrilla warfare and resistance movements, contributing to its legendary status. The AK-47's design has been so influential that it has inspired numerous variants and derivative models used by both state and non-state actors around the globe. Although Kalashnikov intended his rifle to defend his homeland, its legacy is controversial. The AK-47 became associated with numerous global conflicts, symbolizing both revolution and violence. Its simple design allowed mass production, leading to its widespread use in conflict zones. Estimates suggest over 100 million AK-type rifles exist today, reflecting its significant impact. In his later years, 
Kalashnikov regretted the weapon's extensive misuse, particularly by terrorist groups and in civil wars. He wished he had invented something more benign, like a lawnmower to help farmers. Despite his regrets, Kalashnikov's influence on military history is undeniable. By prioritizing functionality over complexity, he transformed modern warfare dynamics. The AK-47's enduring presence underscores the profound impact one invention can have on global events, showcasing how Kalashnikov's unconventional approach changed history. His design philosophy, focusing on durability and simplicity, remains a significant case study in arms design and manufacturing. Kalashnikov's legacy also includes his role as a cultural icon in Russia. He received numerous honors and awards, including the Hero of Socialist Labor, which highlighted his contributions to Soviet technology and defense. His name and image have become synonymous with the rifle that changed the face of warfare, marking him as one of the most influential figures in military history. Number 1. Hugh Thompson Jr. – The Conscience in the My Lai Massacre Hugh Thompson Jr.'s story highlights the power of personal integrity amidst a crisis. During the My Lai Massacre on March 16, 1968, Thompson, with his crew Lawrence Colburn and Glenn Andreata, was conducting a reconnaissance mission over My Lai, a small Vietnamese village. Expecting to locate Viet Cong soldiers, they were instead met with a horrifying scene. American soldiers from Charlie Company were systematically killing Vietnamese civilians, including men, women, and children. Shocked by the brutality, Thompson decided to intervene. He landed his helicopter between the soldiers and the surviving villagers, boldly threatening to fire on any soldier who continued the massacre. This was a daring move. Thompson stood up not against an enemy, but against the atrocities committed by his own troops. With his crew's assistance, he evacuated survivors and called for support to stop the massacre. His actions saved many lives that day. Upon returning to base, he reported the incident, which exposed the My Lai Massacre, where around 500 civilians were killed, as a dark chapter in U.S. military history. Thompson's bravery was underscored by his commitment to justice despite the severe repercussions. His report triggered a major military investigation, which eventually led to the conviction of Lieutenant William Calley, the only officer charged in connection with the massacre. The incident fueled anti-war sentiment and became a significant factor in the growing opposition to the Vietnam War within the United States. The massacre's disclosure led to substantial public and media scrutiny, impacting U.S. military policies and practices. The My Lai Massacre became a symbol of the moral dilemmas faced by soldiers in wartime and raised questions about military ethics and the rules of engagement. Thompson's testimony was pivotal in revealing the massacre's horrors. However, his courage came at a personal cost, leading to his isolation within the military. For decades, the U.S. Army was slow to acknowledge his bravery. It was only in 1998, 30 years later, that Thompson, Colburn, and Andreata were awarded the Soldier's Medal, recognizing their valor outside combat. This honor affirmed their bravery in standing against their fellow soldiers' grave wrongs. Hugh Thompson Jr.'s actions serve as a powerful lesson on moral integrity. Amidst overwhelming cruelty and pressure, he chose to uphold humanity's values, solidifying his place in history as a champion of righteousness. Beyond the military, Thompson's actions have been studied in ethics and leadership courses, exemplifying the profound impact of personal courage in confronting injustice. His story continues to inspire those facing ethical dilemmas and underscores the critical importance of standing up for what is right, even in the face of overwhelming adversity. What would you have done in these situations? Let us know in the comments below. See you next time!